The oldest stratum in which fossils are found is the Cambrian, estimated at between 530 and 500 million years old. Apart from single-celled organisms, no fossils have been discovered in any strata older than the Cambrian. In the Cambrian period, a number of very different species appeared suddenly. More than 30 species, such as jellyfish, starfish, and snails, emerge all at once. Contrary to the assumptions of the theory of evolution, these creatures possessed very complex bodily structures, rather than simple ones. Trilobites, with their hard shells, segmented bodies, and complex organs, are a good example. Their abundant fossils have made it possible for detailed research to be conducted on the trilobite's eyes. This structure is made up of hundreds of tiny combs, each one of which contains a double lens. This structure is a marvel of creation. The trilobite's eye is the earliest known eye on Earth and definitely refutes the Darwinist claim that living things evolved from the simple to the complex. On this subject, David Raup, a University of Chicago paleontologist, says that the trilobites used an optimal design which would require a well-trained and imaginative optical engineer to develop today. In addition, this same ocular system has survived right down to the present day, unchanged over 530 million years, and can still be seen in such insects as bees and dragonflies. According to the theory of evolution, species have evolved from simple forms to more complex ones. Yet there are no other complex forms prior to trilobites and other Cambrian creatures, which appeared suddenly. Coming into being with no forerunners preceding them. The British zoologist, Richard Dawkins, the best-known contemporary proponent of the theory of evolution, makes the following confession. It is as though they, Cambrian creatures, were just planted there without any evolutionary history. This totally invalidates the theory of evolution because, in The Origin of Species, Darwin wrote, if numerous species belonging to the same genera or families have really started into life all at once, the fact would be fatal to the theory of descent with slow modification through natural selection. This blow that Darwin so feared is dealt by the Cambrian period, right at the beginning of the fossil record. because the living species in strata from after the Cambrian also appear suddenly, again with fully formed structures. Basic living classes such as fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals, along with hundreds of thousands of species within those classes, emerged on Earth all of a sudden, and all perfectly formed. Among them, there is not a single intermediate form of the kind dreamed of by evolutionists. Another example that shows that life did not develop from the simple to the complex, but was already exceedingly complex the moment it appeared, is the shark, which the fossil record shows to have appeared around 400 million years ago. This creature possessed the very superior ability to replace its lost teeth. 
yet many creatures that lived millions of years after it lacked this property. This is incontrovertible proof that the shark did not evolve from the simple to the complex. The fact the vertebrate mammalian eye and that of the invertebrate octopus, which species emerged hundreds of millions of years earlier than the mammals, resemble one another and have the same complex structures and systems is still more evidence. All these examples demonstrate that there is no developmental progression from the simple to the complex in living species. This fact has been observed from analysis of morphological, functional, and genetic studies of living organisms. In terms of shape and size, for example, many creatures from earlier strata, such as dinosaurs, are far larger than others that appeared after them. We see exactly the same thing in terms of functional systems. In terms of its structure, the ear is one example that refutes the supposition of development from the simple to the complex. Amphibians have a middle ear cavity, yet reptiles, which emerged after them in the fossil record, have a simple hearing system based on one single small bone and possess no middle ear cavity. Genetic research produces similar results. Studies have shown that the sequence in chromosome numbers does not reflect living organisms' complexity. For example, human beings have 46 chromosomes. The copepod crab only six, yet the microscopic life form Radiolaria, a massive 800. This fact alone proves that there was never any evolution, in either functional or morphological terms, from the simple to the complex. The evolutionist paleontologist Mark Zarnecki admits as much. A major problem in proving the theory has been the fossil record, the imprints of vanished species preserved in the Earth's geological formations. This record has never revealed traces of Darwin's hypothetical intermediate variants. Instead, species appear abruptly, and this anomaly has fueled the creationist argument that each species was created by God.